Um, I would not brush all sh shoulders with him. Guys, you can stop sending me the video of Syrian girl outing me because she's a compulsive liar. Just now, thanks to her arrogance and her stupidity, I have the receipts to show the world. The one time he called me out of the blue, I don't even know where he found my number. Um, that was a bit bizarre. But I will say that uh, one thing that... Hang on, hang on. I've and he called you. What did he want? I, he wanted to invite me to Israel. But he's married. Oh, yeah. That was just before his wedding. But never mind. Like, I don't know where he got my number from. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, this, is getting, this is getting very juicy this conversation he was, so he wanted him hang on he wanted to invite you so he wasn't I he wasn't no. hostile to you okay. <laughs> yeah, that's you're, you're taking it to a different place here it sounds so much more scandalous now that you said that way. so let's just get the facts straight for you truth seekers out there that love syrian girl i never called her out of the blue i texted her and she did know where i got her number because i told her and I wasn't there to invite her to go on a trip to Israel. In fact, I wanted to meet her in Perth. And there was nothing dodgy about my relationship with my wife because I was bringing her along. How many lies can you get in one message? If Syrian girl is willing to lie about all of that, including the fact that she would have nothing to do with me, when her initial response was excited to catch up with me, followed by months and months of conversation. Because I'm willing to talk to anyone, even those with opposing views, in good faith. So when I believe somebody's talking to me in good faith, I will respond accordingly. So for those of you demanding I debate her, if she's willing to lie about everything that's so insignificant, what's the point of having a real conversation with her? I don't see it. If you think it's important for the world to see the Syrian girl for the liar that she is, make sure to like, comment, and most importantly, share it far and wide. And then head over to thetruthaboutthewar.com. That's where you can get the other side of the story from the Israel-Gaza war instead of listening and sharing propaganda from people that can't even tell you the truth about the most mundane rubbish. Truthaboutthewar.com. Share this everywhere.